boats, boats! Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And you know that I just love yellow fins. Jeez, it's, there's hardly a day goes by that there's not someone in talking about how they love their yellow fin. And this one's going up north. Have a look at this, Dan. A 580 centre console. And what a wonderful looking boat that is. And it's special. Why is it special? Because the owner has had a lot of boats and he's put the full Garmin suite in it. And what we're gonna do is, Paul McNaught that looks after Yellowfin, he knows everything about electronics, everything about fishing. He's three quarters famous and he's very handy at fishing, so he knows. And he knows how to set up a boat. So if you've got some ideas, Paul's the one to talk to. And Paul, in a minute, is gonna run through these, the Garmin sounders, the trawling motor, the big sounder, and how we've set this boat up. But in the meantime, let me just show you what this is. So we've got the Tellwater Yellowfin trailer, aluminium trailers, and they haven't they just come along, and aren't they a beautiful thing, light? Yeah, everything that could rust can be replaced, and they just last forever now because of the rails. Now, from the front, you can see here it's under two tonnes, so a standard car. We've got one of our Brisbane Yamaha 200 series, but you could run it with a Prado or a medium size. You probably wouldn't get away with my little Mercedes, but we'd give it a go. Now, have a look at this. Catch and release. I've shown you a million times. There's, you know, there's plenty of YouTubes that I've done on how to use one. I wouldn't have a boat of this calibre without having a catch and release because it just makes it easy. Even if you're not fishing one-handed solo, right, which is what they meant, most people go, oh, you have it for that. I just think it's made it easy, even when you're fishing with a team because you drive up, hooks it up, holds the boat there, everything's easy. And this boat, make no mistake, this boat's too big to be hauled on or winched up, just drives up beautifully with that trailer every time. Spare wheel there, you can see good solid rails, you could tow that, you could do anything with it, big bollards, big anchor wells, you know, and you still anchor when I'm out in deep water, if I'm bottom down and out, or you know, if, if you're out at, at Bowen Banks and you're in 100 metres, you, you don't, you don't want to just use your, your trawling motor all day, anchor up 300 metres of rope and you need big storage. Now, you can look at this hull, have a look down the hull, Dan, Everyone's seen them. They're a thing of beauty. They're not butt weight welded. They're filleted in. They're strong. We've never had any cracks or breaks on one of these things. These yellow fins are just another level because of Quintrex's R&D department. Oh, I said Quintrex. I should sell yellow fin. Now, they're under Tellwater. Tellwater is the biggest aluminium boat builder in the Southern Hemisphere. And the reason why I tell you that is it's peace of mind. You know, you wouldn't go and buy something off the guy that's made the first one. Well, you might, but you're gonna probably regret it. Deal with the best. You buy Toyota, you buy Yamaha, buy Yellowfin, buy Tellwater. Awesome thing. Four mil, 5083 plate, solid. You can go online, there's some videos on how we build these yellow fins hell of a lot of R&D to make them ride the way they do. And we're going on the water, so stay with us because we're going to do drone footage. Beautiful looking boat, tandem trailer. <coughs> Come down, it's rated to a 150. Maximum 150. See, you can see it's got the dive tribe ladder on the back. Great door that we'll see. It's got those awesome Volvo blade type trim tabs. That's for to let water out of the hull if you get some in. Garmin transducer, live bait tanks, burly buckets. We'll, uh, and what we're going to do, like I said, to go inside, Paul McNaught's over there trawling around like a tiger. He's been selling a few boats today, so he's all fired up. So what we're going to do is, Paul McNaught is going to tell you about the inside and all the electronics, and then we're going on the water. We'll start on the dash. We've got a 125 SV. So this is your Garmin GPS map. Eco map, uh, intermediate, in the dash, plenty of screen to see everything more clearly. And hooked up to that, we've got a Garmin Livescope transducer. 
So this is a new technology that um, we've all been talking about for a couple of years. You put this down in the water and it shows you shows you real-time views of what the fish are doing and we hope to show you a bit more later on of, of uh, some fish we find in the river. On the front of the boat we've got a Garmin Kraken electric motor. The new technology with electric motors is brushless technology. This is a 36 volt unit. You've got tons of power. The big breakthrough with electric motors, your, your brushless technology uses less battery so your battery lasts longer. And hooked up to that, we've got a 36 volt lithium battery. So it's probably some of the best gear you're going to put in your sports fishing boat today. We'll find out what it does on the water shortly. So here we are, Morton Bay in the Yellowfin 580. Now, what an awesome layout. And I'll just show you up here, you know, I'm like a dollar twenty. There's three of us in here, very stable. It's got the full Garmin suite. That is a massive anchor well. And a lot of people who buy these boats here, you, you need storage. Storage for your gear, storage for camping, storage for gas bottles, storage for everything. So this boat, you know, even the step and this beautiful checker plate step, plenty of storage in there, tacker boxes, gas bottles, row, you know, safety gear. You can put a lot of gear in there. Out the back, you can get through into the, it's got a 190 litre fuel tank, plenty. And then have a look at the size of the storage in here. Can you see in here, Dan? Have a look here. Oh, we've got a stowaway. Come on, out you get. Now, that's Luca, he's hopped in there. You can get two kids in there if you're a people smuggler. Plenty of room, you can see that great big lithium battery that Paul's gonna talk to you in a minute about. But I just wanna show you, if you didn't think, if you can't fit a human, Luca's nearly six foot tall, sit in the middle there. Now let's have a look. Now, see this fella here? This is Cooper. Cooper lives in the Rang Bar, and he was down here fishing at the boat ramp, and I said, why don't you come for a ride? So we did. Say hello, Cooper. Hello. That's about it. If you're down at the Caboolture boat ramp, I'll take you out too. Sit up there, Coop. We're going to go for it. Good. We've got a new drone. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 on the plane. So she's taken 4,000 to get up on the plane with four people. Now I know it'll do <coughs> 63. Now at the moment, at the moment we're at 4,000 revs, we're doing 18. You, I'll just show you how to do some figure eights. You like figure eights? Hang on there, boy. Don't fall in, Copes. I told your mum I wouldn't hurt you. I don't want you coming in going home all wet. Right, so what we've done, we've been mucking around with this new drone. And what we've got, this 580 really just eats it. And you can see with that hull, there's not much of the waves out here. The wind's blowing its head off. So this 580, they're a very cable boat, you'll know in the other YouTubes. And this weather really is a bit of a joke. You know, I'll throw it around on these waves and see, see what you think about it. But the 580 is way more than these. We're dry, Dan just got a little bit wet. Look at it eat that. You know, it's getting up three quarters of a what, metre and it just loves it. You like that Coop? Yeah? Cooper's loving it. What about you, Luke? Are you loving it? Yeah. <laughs> Luke is sitting down. He's not loving it that much, but he's all right. So, you know, these 580s, all these yellow fins, they're just Quintrex factor. They're just beautiful. Now, I've got no trim. I haven't touched the trim tabs on it. Here, Coop. Grab the wheel. Grab the wheel. Steer that. Go to the back of that boat. Look oh, at that coop's driving. Pretty smooth. He's loving it. We've got the LiveScope transducer down 
looking in this little drain just out here there's a bit of bit of a channel there and if we have a look on the sounder you can just see a, a bit of activity there there's there's a few fish running through there we're not quite in the best tide at the moment but um, as you can see it's it's just picking it up so that's showing you out directly in front of the drain there we should have bought a fishing rod you can turn this around to have a look underneath the boat as well just to see what's out in the deeper water there looks to be a lot of a lot of fish underneath us why didn't you bring the fishing rod Andrew setting up your Garmin's really easy with your touch screen you've got your folders down the bottom of the screen if you just go back to home you can select whether you want the traditional sounder you can go back to clear view which is a down view go back there if you want the side view so you can see what's happening out the side go back you can set her up on uh, combos and then we can go um, several different options there you got your side view down view and your traditional there's a fish there we go back again you can set it up um, most people are going to use your GPS on one side and you got your sounder conventional sounder and down scan on the other and being touch screen it just makes it a lot easier to um, to use it's easy to navigate just around if you wanted to use your uh, waypoints you can key your waypoints in you've got your tracks if you've got active tracks or if you've saved tracks this uh, the eco maps are, are what we call the intermediate range so it gives you all the capabilities for chart plotting of the bigger GPS maps but in a, a simpler more affordable format um, for the type of fishing this boat's set up for this is perfect how about the size of this lithium battery that's 36 volts 100 amp hour comes from BLA developed and and tested and and put out through BLA so we've got 36 volts going into the Garmin this Garmin electric motor or the Garmin Kraken can run either 24 volt or 36 naturally 36 makes it go faster and we're just going to crank the volume up a bit just to show you how fast this can go it's a, and we just press the the button and the motor goes up in stages a lot quieter than the older traditional type of electric motors and a lot stronger too with 36 volts especially We'll crank it up to flat out. According to the GPS, we're doing 5.4 mile an hour, 5.5 mile an hour. That's pretty good for a big heavy plate boat. And if we just hit this anchor button here, that just um, should hold you on the spot. With the, Jeep, with the help of the GPS, it just helps you to fish more precisely and um, hopefully catch more fish. Okay, quick little tip when you're using electric motors, come down the front when you stow your electric motor away, pull your collar for the electric motor down to the stowaway mode and, and not just on the trailer either. If you think you're gonna be traveling a fair distance, just lock that down there if the motor accidentally deploys while you're traveling along you're going to damage the motor so just a little tip we see a lot of people damaging their motors and they're not anchoring the the uh, the collar for transport correctly so if you're looking for a trophy yellow fin if you're looking for a if you're looking for a quintrex if you're looking for a haynes hunter an evolution a polycraft a used boat make sure you do yourself a favor Call Brisbane Yamaha, 3888-1727, or go online, brisbaneyamaha.com.au. Or get to the Caboolture River, just like Cooper, and you'll come on a boat. Bye for now.